Now we're going to look at breakfast. Um, most important meal of the day, so they say, not necessarily. Research has gone um, either way, so it's up to you. What I want you to understand is that whatever I show you, there's nothing wrong with whatever you eat. You can eat any of these things, so, la so long as you allow for the rest of the day for what you have eaten. So, for instance, if I show you something and you think, I can't live without that, I have to eat that every day then that's fine, but just make allowances for the rest of the day. Okay, so we're going to look at a couple of things. Um, as you can see, I've got laid out here various breakfast cereals. Um, I'm going to show you um, different types of cereals and really what they contain and the amount, it's the quantity, it all comes down to the quantity of what we're eating. So if we look over here and we have a, a well-known brand, should I say, so the portion size for this is two biscuits, okay? Most people know that, you can see it quite clearly, two biscuits. In those two biscuits, you'll have to excuse me, I've got a crib sheet. In those two biscuits, the serving size is about 37 grams. But we have, without any milk or anything else, we have 134 calories and 25 grams of carbohydrate already. So when we're looking at 150 grams of carbohydrate in a day, we're already at quite a high proportion just for breakfast. If you have it with milk, it turns out to be 31 grams of carbohydrate. And if you have a glass of orange juice with it, it looks at about 50 grams. So we're looking at almost a third of your carbohydrate intake with a glass of orange juice, that sort of size, milk, that sort of portion and Weetabix in that sort of size. That's fair enough as long as you allow for the fact that the rest of the carbohydrate you eat in that day is only 100 grams. Otherwise you will start to put on weight. Okay, let's look at the next one just to give you a comparison. Crunchy nut. If we look at that in the same sort of way, glass of orange juice first thing in the morning, 125 mils of milk, you are looking at 424 calories. That's 424 calories out of the 1200 that you're allowed in the day. It's also 64 grams of carbohydrate. And shockingly, <laughs> with the orange juice and the milk, it comes out at 45 grams of fat, sorry, sugar, 45 grams of sugar. Now that, as you can see, by breakfast time, if you've eaten that before nine o'clock in the morning, you've had more sugar than you already need in one day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to shreddies. Shreddies, average serving size is about 40 grams. Looks like that. It's not a bad amount. Don't forget this is with no added sugar. With 125 millilitres of milk and a glass of orange juice. Obviously you can take the orange juice off, but if you have a glass of orange juice first, this will look at about 300 um, cal uh, calories and about 56 grams of carbohydrate. We move on to Special K, again advertised as a slimming, uh, a slimming cereal. Average size is about 30 grams. That is 30 grams, exactly. So if you're having more than that, you're having more than the recommended amount. With a glass of orange juice and 125 millilitres of milk, it comes out as 50 grams of carbohydrate, 32 grams of sugar, 9.8 grams of protein and 2.5 grams of fat. Okay, moving on swiftly. Shredded wheat. Average serving, about 45 grams. That's two biscuits. Two biscuits with the orange juice and the milk. Um, so two biscuits with 125 milliliters of milk and the orange juice would give you 305 calories in a day, 
would give you 58 grams of carbohydrate, 27 of those grams would be sugars, 10 grams of protein, and three grams of fat. Now we're looking at it all the time thinking the fat is low, the fat is low, that's fine. But if you're already having in your breakfast cereal more than a third of your carbohydrate needs, and again, a very high proportion of your protein needs, if you start to eat too much carbohydrate in a day, it will get stored as fat. If you start to eat too much protein in a day, it will get stored as fat. Now look at an oat granola. Oats, very good for you, high energy. That is an average portion. That is what they suggest that you eat. That is 45 grams. Okay, it doesn't look very much, does it? I know that I would put more than that in one of my bowls. <laughs> with, with milk, with 125 millilitres of milk, that comes out as 59 grams of carbohydrate. 37 of those would be sugar, 8.4 of them would be protein, and 5.5 fat. Just got two more to do, just two, more, two other ones that I want to show you. This is a very well-known uh, brand of muesli. Um, with the milk and the orange juice, it would come out at 347 calories. It was, it's got 57 grams of carbohydrate, 33 of those would be fat, uh, sorry, sugar, and 10 would be protein, and 5.7 would be fat. Last but not least, a favourite in this household. Oats so simple, I will say that it's with golden syrup. Okay, these come in a sachet, so the nice thing is that you can't actually have too much because you will have the sachet, unless of course you have two. <laughs> But one sachet gives you, with milk and a glass of orange juice, 300 calories, 51 grams of carbohydrate, 35 grams of sugar, 7.8 grams of protein, and 3.4 grams of fat. So, I hope this gives you an idea about the proportions that you are looking at just in breakfast. us about two minutes to put that together it's dry fried there's no oil involved at all there's one rasher of bacon um, two small very small cherry tomatoes one egg and one piece of toast um, I would like that to be rye bread but we didn't have any so uh, but what we're looking at here on this plate um, which smells fantastic I wish you had smell vision um, is um, 168 calories 12 grams of carbohydrate 1.3, 1.3 grams of sugar, 10 grams of protein, and 7.7 .7 grams of fat. So if you're going to start looking at the type of fat and the way you're going to get your carbohydrate, the way you're going to get your protein, um, and if you like a breakfast, certainly on a weekend, Saturday, Sunday, there is nothing wrong with eating that. If you want to directly compare any of the nutritional values of anything that I've shown you today, then please go on my website at www.realfatburn.co.uk and you'll be able to look at all the different breakfasts, lunch and dinners.